This video is about my hot water heater and I thought I'd go over it a little bit and explain to you how it works. Somebody was asking me. It's basically uh, just an instant hot water heater by Camp Chef. There's a whole bunch of different varieties of these. It's a, uh, I think a 5L model. And what you have here is uh, you have your inlet line right here for your water and your outlet and then your gas line. And how this actually works is you just turn on the hot water spigot and you can look right into here and see it ignite. I'll do that right now. There it goes. And now uh, in order for you to adjust your water temperature, I'm going to shift this off right here so it won't make so much noise. But uh, the lower you have the heat, of course, the less heat you have. And then the higher you have the water, the less heat you have coming out. So if you just set this, uh, say, in the middle, and this one in the middle, then we're going to turn on the knob again. Watch it ignite. And I mean, it, it's instant. I'm going to put my fingers underneath there. Yeah, see, that's, uh, that's pretty warm water. You, you couldn't take no shower in it. So um, I'm going to shut it back off. So if I turn this down to low heat and I turn this up to higher water pressure, I get a really lukewarm water. Maybe above, depending on how far you turn it down. Let's turn it back on again. There it goes. Um, yeah, it's not, it's barely warm. I mean, it'd be kind of like if you want to do your dishes in or something. But now, say you wanted to take a shower and you want it a little bit warmer than that, you would just simply turn the heat up slightly. A little warmer. If you don't want to burn as much gas, you just turn down the water pressure. Now it's starting to get a lot warmer. If you turn this thing, water pressure way down, turn the heat way up, this will, will make hot enough water to actually make coffee, instant tea, whatever you want to make it out of. So you definitely would not want to put your hand in there. I'm surprised if we don't see any steam, but it's a pretty warm day because we live down here in Florida. We're going to shut that off. And as you can see, it shuts right off. So we're going to probably keep it on the lowest side. And, uh, about medium water or so and what I got here is uh, like I said the gas the outlet and the intake where the water comes in but I have a fitting back here which is going to run across this wall come out and go up here and come through here and if you can see this my shower is right on the other side so my shower spigot head will come right out this wall so all I have to do in order for me to get the right shower temperature is to come over here and set these, just like I did for the sink. And then whenever I turn the shower head on, on this side over here, because it'll have off and on around the shower head, it will uh, be preset. So you can take a shower in there and uh, not to have no plumbing in the shower. And that was the whole purpose of it, was to eliminate all the plumbing lines that was unnecessary to use. Same way with the electrical and so forth. I was trying to simplify everything so there would be less repairs, less breakdowns. But that's that's how that thing works. If there's any other questions, uh, I'll try to answer them. Well, while we're on here, I want to explain something to you. You're probably wondering what this is. That's my gas line. It has a uh, shutoff valve on it. My gas line for my cook stove. I'm gonna be placing my cook stove right underneath here on the shelf. I'll be pulling it out, setting it on the counter, and putting a quick disconnect line on it. So that way I can put the stove up and still have the whole counter space to use. It also allows me to take my stove outside and clean it instead of having to build it to the counter. So I thought I'd just go over that real quick too. I'm sure there's a lot of other questions, but uh, there you go. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I was going to mention, uh, because of a lot of people worry about the carbon monoxide coming out of these, these are really low efficient. Uh, they don't put out a lot of carbon monoxide, but 
what we have here in the ceiling up here is a max fan and anytime you use it you just want to turn on low because that way there it draws the excessive heat out of here and at the same time takes and cleans the air back up getting rid of the carbon dioxide but uh, they're supposed to be low i knew that question would come up so i thought i would just just mention it